Uh, pardon the use of some bad grammar, but this story ain't nothing but a girl thing. Do I hand this letter? Adrian Perry is owner-operator of A Girl's Thing Paint Company. And when she started this 10 years ago, it was supposed to be a temporary girl's thing. But it's grown into a full-time business. I actually was going to do it until I knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I had a lot of fun doing it, and I really enjoy it. And I guess it just kind of stuck, I guess, is me growing up now. <laughs> and this is a girl's thing because her three-person crew is a three-woman crew. It's always good, good responses. Everyone always say that they like working with us, and we really don't run into many problems about it at all. And they paint everything inside and out, and anyone who has done this kind of work before knows it ain't easy. Uh, the hardest thing? Probably trying to keep my energy up. It's a really physical job. Very tiring. Now, these girls just aren't slapping paint around. <laughs> it's a lot more than that. They're turning a job into someone's home. I love seeing something going from bare studs to color and look, making places look like a home. And that's what I like. I just love to see it from start to finish. And while being an all-female painting crew on an almost all-male work site does have its challenges, it doesn't mean that these girls don't ask for a little male support every once in a while. There are times I do run into things that are too heavy for me to do or I need a hand and, and anybody who says chivalry is dead has not stepped foot on a job site and asked for help. <laughs> but that doesn't mean the girls don't get a male audience while they're working every once in a while. It has happened on occasion, but usually you turn around and they scatter. <laughs> in Leelanau County, Vic McCarty, Fox 33 News at 7. Yeah, <laughs> we'll change the pace. <laughs>